cranial nerves cranial nerves are 12 pairs in that first one olfactory olfactory is a sensory nerve and it is for olfaction that is for smell second one optic optic also a sensory nerve and it is used for vision third one oculomotor oculomotor that is for eye movement and pupillary reflex next one trochlear that is fourth one trochlear also for eye movement it is a motor nerve here we are assessing the movement of eyeball next one trigeminal nerve trigeminal nerve is the fifth nerve and it is a sensory and motor nerve here we are assessing general sensation then opening or closing of the mouth then tension on the uh, tension of tympanic membrane so in trigeminal nerve usually what we are assessing is fa facial sensation and chewing of the muscle because it is a sensory and motor nerve next one the sixth nerve is abducen nerve abducen nerve also a motor nerve here we are assessing the later rectus muscle that is movement of eyeball lateral movement of the eyeball we are assessing next one that is seventh it is very important seventh nerve is facial nerve facial nerve is mixed nerve that is it is it also sensory and motor nerve here the facial movement and taste is assessed facial movement and taste is assessed in facial nerve next one eighth nerve that is vestibulo cochlear nerve otherwise known as auditory nerve here we are assessing the hearing and balance of the patient so that is the vestibulo cochlear nerve here it is a sensory nerve here we are assessing the hearing capacity and the balance of the patient next one ninth one that is glossopharyngeal nerve ninth cranial nerve is the glossopharyngeal nerve glossopharyngeal nerve also sensory and motor nerve that is mixed nerve here we are assessing throat sensation taste and swallowing ability here throat sensation uh, taste sensation and swallowing ability we are assessed next one that is 10th nerve is the vagus nerve here the vagus is the mixed nerve sensory and motor nerve is uh, motor nerve is vagus nerve here we are assessing the general sensation movement sensation and abdominal organs here the general sensation chemo and uh, baroreception then visceral sensation that's why we are saying abdominal organ sensation then uh, speech and swallowing ability then control of these symptoms so that is vagus nerve next one spinal accessory nerve spinal accessory nerve it is motor nerve here we are assessing the movement of head and shoulders the neck movement neck movement that is assessed in the spinal accessory nerve especially movement of head and neck and uh, head and shoulders next one last cranial nerve that is the 12th cranial nerve that is hypoglossal movement and sensation of abdominal organs and also the tongue movement of tongue cranial nerves the first one olfactory in that smell uh, can be assessed by eye closed and giving a potent uh, scent in order to identify the scent so if the olfactory is functioning well the patient correctly identify which one we have to give for scent or smell next one optic second nerve is optic here we are assessing the visual acuity and visual field 
it can be assessed by snell and chart third one oculomotor here we are assessing the eye movement then uh, here we can use the pen light and assess for pala then fourth one trochlear again eye movement down and lateral movement all the eye movement can be done together and use a pen light and tell the patient to follow the pen light so we can use in uh, the pen light in different direction the per person will be the patient will be follow that next one fifth trigeminal nerve fifth one trigeminal uh, trigeminal nerve here we are assessing the chewing and facial sensation in order to assess the facial sensation we use cotton ball and uh, the patient will close his eyes and uh, we will touch the different areas of the face and the person will identify which all are the area we have touched so that is uh, trigeminal nerve next one abducens nerve abducens nerve here we are assessing the eye movement laterally so it can be checked with the trochlear nerve assessment the diagonal movement and lateral movement can be assessed together next one facial uh, facial nerve uh, here we are assessing the facial expression of the patient so in order to assess that tell the patient to frown smile or raise eyebrows then puff cheeks then close eyes tightly all these uh, all these tests will help to identify the functioning of the facial nerve next one vestibulo cochlear nerve here we are assessing the hearing and balance in order to identify that we will uh, do the uh, tuning fork test weber's test and rinne's test can be as uh, do for the vestibular cochlear nerve then next one glossopharyngeal nerve glossopharyngeal nerve here we are assessing the gagging and swallowing response uh, tell the patient to say oh and have patient yawn and uh, assess the upward movement of the palate ask the patient to solo all these things can be done in order to identify the functioning of the glossopharyngeal nerve again in case of vagus nerve the pharynx larynx and sensation and swallowing can be assessed uh, use cotton swab or blade to touch the posterior pharynx observe the gag reflex and swallowing so vagus also uh, can be assessed with the swallowing and uh, blade can be used to in order to identify the gag reflex then next one spinal accessory nerve that is shoulder shrugging and head rotation here the uh, we have to ask the patient to shrug the shoulders against uh, resistance of your hands so uh, this is the test if the patient is able to do that spinal accessory nerve is good but, but in case of stroke patients it is very difficult to do so these all are the uh, assessment we we will do in case of cranial nerve mnemonics of the cranial nerve on old olympus towering top a fin van german viewed a hope so in the first letter is the uh, cranial nerves that is olfactory optic oculomotor trochlea trigeminal abducens facial vestibulo cochlear glossopharyngeal vagus accessory hypoglossal in order to identify the sensory and motor nerve another synonyms we can use that is some say mary money but my brother says big brains matter more so the sum that indicates olfactory sensory nerve then optic nerve second is the optic nerve that also a sensory nerve third one is oculomotor nerve oculomotor nerve is the motor nerve that's why mary then trochlear nerve that also a motor nerve then fifth one that is trigeminal that is but both that is sensory and mixed nerve abducens that is motor nerve facial mixed nerve sensory and motor nerve vestibulo cochlea sensory nerve glossopharyngeal sensory and motor nerve
then vagus sensory and motor nerve accessory that is motor nerve hypoglossal motor nerve so this is the mnemonics some say marry money but my brother says big brains matter more thank you